ready-made maths, YouTube mathematics training. Teacher and teaching assistant training in mental mathematics. Today is day seven. This is MC Rapper Code Number Part Two, uh, extension and greater depth activities. The activities that you're about to see are just an extension of the ones that we've been looking at earlier on in the video part one. These activities are mainly designed to either really challenge children at lower key stage two or to work with children at upper key stage two to make them think uh, and reason at a higher level. The activities are mainly involved with building up um, three, four digit numbers and beyond and developing the idea of working consistently with fluency in number. If you have watched uh, the uh, opening video, it's obviously well worth watching that before you watch this one. This video is not a standalone video, it continues uh, the previous one. So as I say, if you haven't watched um, video one from today, it's well worth having a look at that one first of all. Uh, this is just basically extension activities uh, to continue the ones that you've seen on the previous videos. Hope you uh, find them useful. Again, just to use these if you're working with children who are working at greater depth uh, in years three and four, or uh, generally to work with children who are getting much more fluent in number at years five uh, and six. As you can see from the slide here, there's only really two main activities that we are looking at. The first one is the 12 card digit card challenge. And the second one is using the reasoning cards and building up cumulative totals. Have fun and I hope you enjoy the activities today. So let's take a look uh, at one of my favourite activities for year five and six. Obviously at the moment it doesn't look too challenging, it's more of a, I suppose, year four activity. What we've got to do, quite simply as before, is find the total of all of those uh, six two-digit numbers. Uh, we're going to see how this activity builds up. Let's have a little play with those first of all. Again, We've been doing rapper code a number now um, for two days. What different strategies could we use? What jumps out at you as you see those uh, cards there? Uh, and what do you think um, you can uh, do to find the total? Let's just pause the video uh, and let you have a little play. Now, obviously, there are lots and lots and lots of ways in which we could have um, played around with these numbers. I'll just show you the ones that I decided to come up with. I started off with the 75 and the 78. Name the strategy. Da! Double and adjust. Double 75 plus 3, 150, 153. There was then actually, very luckily, a number bomb that got us exactly to 100, which was number 85 plus 15. And then we had uh, a manipulate the calculation, uh, MC. 83 plus 39, just pass one over, 82 plus 40, or we could have added 40 and subtracted one. That got us to 122. Looking at the three numbers that we've now got, I'm looking at the first one and the third one, I'm thinking, yep, yeah, there's a very straightforward partition there. I'm gonna bring that one uh, into play. 153 and 122. 100 and 100 is 200, 50 and 20 is 70, three and two is five. And then we just count on uh, the final 100 to get us to 375. So with those, we actually got to practice quite a few uh, of the different strategies. Here you can see the activity that we've just done with six two-digit numbers, uh, which we've put together uh, in different ways. There's just uh, another example there, uh, just have a quick look at 28, 74, 55, 63, 25 and 86. Again, there's many, many ways uh, that they could be put together. Um, there's no right or wrong way at all. Uh, some strategies are slightly more efficient than others, but just have a little play, just pause the video, have a look. Let's just see what we can come up with. So what I decided to do, I could have put I could have put the 74 with the 25 because that would have given me a 99. That would have been quite a nice one. But I thought I would put the uh, 28, uh, sorry, the 74 uh, with the 86. I spotted a number bond straight away. I saw the idea of use a number bond, put the 6 with the 74. That gave me double 80. Nice easy one. That left the 25 and 28, which is a lovely double and adjust. And 59 and 63, I just pass one over to make it 60 and 62. Again, the way those numbers were uh, moved together, there are many, many other ways we could have done it, uh, but that one seemed to work particularly well. That left us with 122. Um, I'm going to add the 53 to that. That got there, just partitioned that one to get 175. That left with the final number, the 160. I just manipulated the calculation again. Uh, I made that calculation. Uh, I had it basically passed 40 over and made it 135 uh, plus 200. I could have just partitioned, 
could have had 200 plus 130 plus 5. And that would have worked. I could have just counted on 175 out of 100. It's 275 add 60. I could have double and adjusted. Double 160 plus 15. That is the great thing about this particular uh, activity. If you get a calculation like that, there's actually four ways uh, that it could have been done. Um, so, again, whichever you prefer, um, you know, I just get the, the, the total. Now, this is one of my favourite activities. I did this many, many times uh, uh, when I used to be a, a local authority consultant uh, in Rochdale many years ago. Uh, this was a national numeracy strategy game, uh, and it was kind of, it's called Cumulative, uh, and it's basically creating a cumulative total uh, as you're continuing. It was a, a really popular mental and oral uh, game with the national numeracy strategy. Uh, what the children were challenged to do was to see how quickly they could add 10 numbers up, but you don't see all 10 numbers together. All the other activities we've been doing so far, we've been putting all the numbers out together and we've been basically just pairing them uh, in an appropriate way. This time, we're going to just in individually deal 10 numbers out one by one and make a cumulative total. Now, we might have to jot things down as we're going along uh, to support our understanding, but we're just going to turn over the first two cards. Let's see what they are. So card number one is an 89. I haven't planned this at all. I have no idea what's coming up. Card number two is a 20. I'm very happy with that. 89 and 20. Number bond, 109. I've now got 36. I'm going to manipulate the calculation. Add one over 110 plus 35 is 145. Turn the next one over, 145. Round and adjust. Add 30 is 175. Subtract 2 is 173. And my fifth card is 48. I'm just going to pause there for a second. I'm going to write down where I am so far. And I'm going to just jot down the strategies that I've done along the way. So I think probably for there are 173. Um, 48, I'm going to again pass two over, uh, make it 171 plus 50, uh, which is 221. So that's where I am after the first five cards, I'll just jot those down. So you can see where I, I am now, I've just jotted down the strategies I've used, number for the first one, manipulate the calculation, MC for the next, round and adjust for the third, uh, and manipulate the calculation again for the fourth, so I'm now on 221. I'm going to put the next one on. I'm just going to partition this. 221, add 36, 257, 257, and another partition. Uh, 257, add 120. Again, you might want to jot this down. Uh, that's 257, 120 is 377. That's fantastic there. 377, round and adjust, add 100, 477, subtract 1, uh, 476. Oops, 476, add 72. At this point, I probably would write it down uh, so I can see the calculation. 476, uh, add 72, uh, would be 548. I'm just doing a partition there. And finally, 548, uh, add my 16. I think I'll add 10, 558, add 6, I count on uh, 564. Again. I'm just going to show you again the numbers as they were originally set up and watch what we're going to do now. We're going to move uh, the cards just to create something slightly different. We're going to move that three over there. We're going to move that nine to there. We're going to move the eight to there and we're going to move the three to there. Very, very quickly, we've now created something a lot more challenging. We've got four three digit numbers. Have a look at those. Can you find a way to use wrapper code and number? Possibly. You may be thinking this is looking more like a column method, uh, but is it possible? Can we use wrapper code and number, move those around and find an easy way to add them together? Pause the video again. Again, I think this was probably uh, one of the trickier uh, examples. It, it often gives you numbers that are slightly easier than this. Uh, the way I've decided to do this one, um, I've looked at the 853. And the 158. The only real number bond I could spot, there was potentially the 900 with the 100 to make a thousand, but on this particular example I spotted the 250s which make a hundred. So I've got 800 and 100 is 900, 50 and 50 is 100, and then I have the final 11. So it didn't work out too bad, it gave me 1011. Over here, for the first time I've decided to combine two strategies together. The hundreds, I thought, right, we'll just partition those, 900 and 300. Uh, 1,200 or 1,200s. Um, the 78 and 75 is that double and adjust. So that gave us double 75, 150, add 3. So we did end up with two relatively easy numbers at the end, uh, 1,353 uh, and 1,011. Those actually do add together very easily because there's no exchanging whatsoever. Just do a partition. We end up with 2,360.
For example, over here, there is an alternate strategy. I'm just going to put that in place. Uh, where 978 actually is very close to 1,000. In fact, it's only 22 away uh, from 1,000. So I manipulated the calculation. I passed over 22, uh, and I ended up with 1,353, uh, which again, obviously gives you 1,353. Just an, another option uh, for those. But you do obviously, uh, you can play around with those numbers in lots and lots of different ways. And you may just think, no, I'm going to put those into a column method. Again, as we just saw, here's just a little example for you to try in your own time. Uh, four three-digit numbers. I've used the same cards, kept them in the same order, but I've just made uh, three-digit numbers out of them like we just did uh, on the table. Again, pause the video, have a look, just see what strategies you can come up with. Great activity for children years four and five to develop a mental calculation. I straight away went for a number bond. I spotted that thousand, so I thought, right, we'll get that out of the way. 600 and 400 makes a thousand, and then we just partition the rest. 50 and 30, five and two. The other two numbers, I just did a quick uh, manipulate the calculation. I looked at 287 and thought, oh, it's only 13 away from 300. So I passed 13 over uh, to make 300 plus 573. That gave me 873. I was very excited because I spotted a number bond straight away. Uh, in the ones there. Um, so we did the 1,000, left that on its own. Um, the 800, left that on its own. Then we just had 87 and 73. 80 and 70, double and adjust, 150. Uh, double 70 plus 10. Uh, and the 3 over 7 made a 10. Added together, 1,960. Yeah, quite a nice calculation. Back to the original numbers again. So what's the final challenge? Well, the final challenge is this. Put those together like that, put those together like that, and put those together like that. <clears throat> now, at the moment, this could be 8,539, add 7,815, add 8,375, which obviously will be a brilliant uh, mental arithmetic four-digit one to have a go at. Or it could be 85.39, 78.15, and 83.75 to challenge children at greater depth uh, in year six. Uh, again, that decimal could have been done with any of the original numbers. We could have had 8.5, 3.9, 7.8, 1.5, 8.3, and 7.5. In fact, we might look at that one uh, shortly. Let's just have a quick look at the four-digit calculation. Have a little play. How would you wrap a code and number? There's numerous ways we could play with these numbers. <laughs> Probably uh, column method is quite sensible, uh, looking at the numbers we've actually got. But I want to get that challenge. I want to give year five and six children that opportunity to play with numbers mentally. And there is a way forward. Let's have a look. Just doing a simple partition, which probably is the default strategy for most things. 8,000 and 7,000, 15,000. 800 and 300, 1,100 or 1,100. Add together the 75 and the 15. We end up with a 15,000, a 1,100 and a 90. 16,190. That left us with quite... A complicated calculation, 16,190, and I've got to add that to the 8,539. I looked at the number though and thought, oh, 16,190, that's very, very close to 16,200. So I wrote the two numbers down and just thought, right, well, I'll just pass 10 over. 16,200 at 8,529, just manipulated uh, the calculation. That left me again with a partition. So 16,000 at 8,000 is 24,000. Um, 200 and 500 is 700, uh, and that leaves me uh, with uh, the 29. Total, 24,729. Again, for speed, you put them in a column, but we're not looking for speed here. We're looking for mental arithmetic fluency and developing Rappacoda Numbo uh, all the way through uh, to year six. So again, just play around with those. All you need to pack a digit cards, shuffle them up, six two-digit numbers, four three-digit numbers, three four-digit numbers, and if you want to go absolutely crazy, You've got two six-digit numbers. All I'll be doing there, though, is saying, right, let's have a quick bit of uh, column addition practice uh, for those, unless you really want to go to town, and let's just have a see, you know, how would I partition them. I'll just pause on there, let you have a quick look. If you want to quick go at uh, partitioning those, pause the video for a second. And there we have it. We've got 800,000 and 700,000, that's one and a half million. Uh, we've got uh, 50,000 and 50,000 is 100,000, 3,000 and 7,000 is 10,000, that's not too bad actually, that gives us 
1,610,000. On the other side, with the hundreds, tens and ones, we've got a 900 and 800, 1,700, 80 and 10, 90, uh, and 3 and 5 is 8. 1,798. Put them both together. 1,611,798. Little bit over the top, but, you know, uh, why not give it a go? And again, as we've just done, here's same num same numbers, same order, and now we've created um, four, sorry, three four-digit numbers. Uh, have a look at these. You know, which ones would you start with um, and why? I decided there's two options. I could have put the 5,500 with the 2,500. That would have given me a lovely uh, number bond to start off with. But I actually thought 2,586 and 2,874 is a really nice near double. And then 74 and 86 at the end have also got a number bond in there as well. So I chose those. And actually, it was quite an easy calculation to do. I put the 2,500, as you can see here, uh, and the 2,500 together. There's an extra 300. So that's my double adjust. And then I had 74 and 86. So I just put the 74 with the 6 to make 80, doubled it up to make 160. So I ended up with 5,300 at 160 is 5,460. That then gives me a lovely little partition. 5,000 and 5,000 is 10,000. 400 and 500 is 900. Double 60 is 120 and the 3. 10,900, another 100 is 11,023. Uh, did catch it go together uh, you know, really well. As we said earlier, we could put them in a column, but I just love that opportunity, wherever possible, to get the children to think uh, and develop their mental arithmetic skills as a kind of first principle. Thank you very much for watching the extension video for MC Rapper Code Number uh, Part 2. Uh, I hope you found those activities useful. They are ones that I have used many, many times to really get children thinking. Cumulative total just gets that constant buildup and you're changing strategies all the time. The digit card activity is the idea of going from a six two digits num numbers to three digit numbers to four digit numbers. And even if you want to go to, to six digit numbers, it's just a cracking way of getting children to constantly play with numbers and to really see that mathematics is not about sticking things in a column and adding them up in one way. It's about having a real sense of number and the more fluent that you get, and the more you start to use these sorts of activities, the more you start to see numbers as something that are just really powerful and something that are very, very varied. Mathematics is not a one answer subject as people often think. Mathematics is a subject that is really open-ended, really, really, you know, good to get thinking skills developed. Um, and I hope these activities that you've seen uh, over the past uh, seven days have shown that. Uh, tomorrow, we are gonna be moving into a little tips and tricks uh, for other little uh, fun ways uh, of developing mental mathematics fluency. Thanks very much for watching both the videos today. If you have got this far, uh, as I've mentioned before, please, if you get the chance, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, uh, follow me uh, on um, Twitter, uh, and do have a look at the readymade.co.uk uh, website if you get the chance as well. Lovely to uh, have you with me today, and I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow for um, mathematics tips and tricks. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.